Oh, for grins and giggles here, I've stripped more of the fabric off the fuselage here, to, some of it to uh, get an idea of what's going on in here um, as far as how things are laid out, the controls and things like that, and uh, the other just to, to see what's going, what's going on with the fuselage. So anyway, I'm here looking and this is, uh, this is what I'm working on now is the flap control stuff. I'm going to put the, the uh, flap uh, pulleys in so that I can uh, put that rear baggage compartment in and, and uh, start to get an idea on how that thing lays. So that's the front forward flap control pulley right there. Um, there's where it attaches onto the flap handle itself. And uh, there is the, the double trim pulley, the forward trim pulley. See how the cable goes around it and it goes down to this lower pulley here and then back the fuselage. The right hand fuel line comes down from the right hand side of the fuselage back across the uh, rear uh, of the main fuselage back there the, uh, above the, the regular baggage compartment and then down it crosses just uh, behind and underneath that uh, left rear window and then comes down along that side and uh, that comes in and it comes in right to the fuel selector valve right there and this other line is the secondary line that they put in with the with the 180 horse engine and the no um, no header tanks it comes down from the forward part of the the right um, wing tank and uh, down underneath the instrument panel and then intersects with the line right there so they both go into the rear of the fuel selector valve and then the uh, left hand uh, fuel line you see the where it comes out of the wing root right there that goes down that window post and then turns and comes down along there and then it goes up and uh, th there's a union uh, where it comes in from the uh, front uh, port uh, join and then they go down and go into the fuel selector valve there on the forward edge of the fuel selector valve. The belly tank, it has a line that comes up out of the belly from the belly tank into that under seat storage compartment and then onto the fuel pump there that comes out of there and turns and goes up that uh, window post and there is a uh, one-way valve right there and then it goes on up that post and into the wing tank on the left hand side on uh, on the rear of the wing tank there. Uh, here's where that uh, flap control cable comes up or goes through this pulley right here and this is the rear main. It comes through that pulley, turns, goes up through that one right in that A-frame and then forward and then there's a yoke there just a few inches forward of that uh, A-frame uh, where everything comes, that cluster comes together and uh, hooks into a, uh, a yoke right there and then branches out into the two wing flaps. Well, this is the baggage compartment uh, deck that we, I put in a few years ago to put the radios and stuff in so I could get that ELT back there where it was out of the way. The aluminum uh, stringers up here on top are showing a little bit of white death on them. They're certainly salvageable and reusable. The upper longerons are in okay shape. They're starting to show rust. The cross tubes there are starting to show rust and stuff. But I think most of them are okay with these lower ones here. The longerons, hard to say exactly well what kind of shape they're in, but all the cross tubes are in pretty bad shape, especially where they cross that aluminum former down there on the bottom. Uh, see, that's blown up pretty good there, pretty rusty right there. And then this uh, cluster right here, that's not in very good shape. This one as we get farther back here, this lower section is uh, is pretty bad. The tail post back there actually doesn't look too bad. And then looking up at those upper longerons, they don't look too bad. That stuff up there doesn't look so bad. So it's mostly the stuff on the lower end where the water moisture accumulates really bad. See, we opened this up before and got all the way back in here underneath the floor and, and cleaned this up and repainted it with uh, exo rust and, and uh, it didn't hold very well. But it looks like everything forward here in the forward section is, is uh, okay so far. 15 years of salt water on a, on a 50 year old and airframe. Doing a little bit more disassembly on the old fuselage here. Of course the 
strip more of the fabric off to get a better idea what's going on but also to give me access uh, to those uh, uh, radio uh, wiring. The, I took the, the uh, wing rope covers off so I could get those antenna and the antenna cables. We need the cables to uh, start putting them into the uh, new fuse lodge. This one I've got the cables um, undone from the fuse lodge and loosened up and I've got to get the uh, control um, cable ends off um, see what I can do with them. But I need to take the floorboards out so I can get to those aileron control cable connectors there. We need to get up there underneath the floor and take those uh, rudder pedals out and also those uh, side panels I'll get off. the floorboards out and uh, the rudder pedals of course and the side panels out. Um, now the side panels and the rudder panels, I mean the rudder pedals, it took two of us because uh, we got uh, the screw heads were on the outside of the firewall and the side panels with uh, with nuts on the inside so you had to have somebody on the inside holding the nuts and somebody on the outside turning the screws. Same thing with the uh, rudder pedals. Made it a little easier on the rudder pedals because we cut access holes in the belly and the uh, boot cowl several years ago and so we could put everything in from underneath. The floorboards weren't too bad to come out of there because uh, well, it's been seven or eight years ago now. We took everything out and to uh, you can see the exo rust, the red primer on um, all the tubes down there. We took uh, everything out and uh, cleaned up those tubes and uh, painted them with exo rust. And when they put these floorboards in, they put them in before they put the belly skin on. So there's nuts on all of these attached fittings here on these tabs and stuff. There's nuts on the bottom of them. The screws go through. So the only way to get them off is to uh, take the skin off the belly. But I took and drilled out all of the nuts or all of the bolts, uh, screw heads and stuff the last time so we could get them out. And we cleaned everything up and we put these, uh, these nut plates, uh, nut tabs on there on all of them. So it made it a lot easier to get it off this time. I got an STC from Atley Dodge to remove the rear seat controls at that time and, and uh, you know that's what we did too. We removed all the rear seat controls. Um, and one of the other things that I did was I put these straps in around this uh, one cross member here to go up and these attached to the, the seat and where the seat belts attached to it. The new airplane, the new airframe um, we had uh, floor attach fitting put in for the seat belts, but um, normally the seat belts attach right to the seat. And there's, as you can see, there's not a whole lot of structure here, just these little uh, ears sticking up that uh, hold the seat in. So sometimes the seat comes loose in an accident, and the seat belts don't do you much good if the seat comes loose and the seat belts are attached to it. So I put these cables in here and attach these to the seat. So I had a good, good firm attach point to the fuselage. You can see now some of this uh, bird cage is all rotted out now in the bottom of that right there. Now I can clean up those uh, rudder paddles. They actually didn't too, too look too bad. I cleaned them up and powder coated them uh, a few years ago when we had it apart. And taking them apart this time, they actually look pretty good. I'll clean them up, check them out. If I have to, I'll sandblast them and repowder coat them. See this. Uh, that's pretty rusty there, the aileron control cable. So I'm gonna take it apart, sandblast it, and see how bad it is. Where are they at? The terminal ends on these uh, rudder pedals here. Um, they're not too bad. They're actually in pretty good shape, or at least that one is. Oh yeah, this one's in real good shape here. So that won't be bad.